So here I am, minding my own black business and my black political business, by the way, trying to stay in my lane while in my free time, just casually enjoying the back and forth between Drake and Kendrick Lamar and Rick Ross's random flares that he throws in there. And all of a sudden, I'm watching the mental gymnastics that Drake fans are going through in order to defend his reputation and make the case that he is somehow winning this battle. And then all of a sudden, MAGA made a whole lot of sense. Kendrick reported this track and I thought it was very good. Some of the detractors of Kendrick's diss track, let's call them Drake fans, were taking away from Kendrick's efforts because they said that he took too long to respond. I think he took like 10 days to respond to Drake. Despite the fact that Drake took longer to respond to Kendrick. Kendrick took less time to respond to Drake than Drake took to Kendrick, but Drake fans were saying that Kendrick's response wasn't valid because he took too long. Drake finally gets back to responding to Kendrick and Kendrick responds right away, like minutes later, like 30 minutes later. And in Kendrick's response, he's basically telling Drake, you have moles in your camp. I knew that this is what you were going to do. I knew this is what you were going to say and I'm responding to it in advance. Drake, upon realizing that he he had his, his celebratory parade not even rained on, like the police came and pulled out caution tape and arrested everybody at his celebration parade for Family Matters, right? Starts putting out defensive posts on Instagram trying to refute Kendrick's diss track. 24 hours later, he comes with another track basically saying, ha ha, we set you up. Uh, we planted all that stuff. It's all fake. And Drake's fans in, in large numbers are running with this narrative that he set Kendrick up planted all this fake information and Kendrick fell for it. Despite the fact that it took him a whole 24 hours to come with this explanation. Before he came with this explanation, he's putting out defensive posts on Instagram trying to refute Kendrick's track. If you knew that Kendrick was going to put this track out because you had fed him fake information. Why on earth would you sit on it for 24 hours, put a bunch of stuff out on Instagram and let yourself be crushed in the meantime? Nobody would do that. Nobody would do that. It doesn't make any logical sense. None. Right? Despite it making no logical sense, these same people that wanted to criticize Kendrick for taking too long, despite Kendrick took longer, have been running with this narrative. And I'm sitting here watching it, and I'm like, Drake fans are MAGA. Drake fans are MAGA, because we sit here and we have these conversations, right? And we're wondering, how could you possibly think that the cases against Trump are politically motivated when this dude been in court his whole life? He been in court for the last five decades. This man been in court his whole life. He been getting sued. But now all of a sudden it's politically motivated. So this man was a saint until 2016. And then all of a sudden, all this is politically motivated. How do you convince yourself? Like, how do you, how do you convince yourself of that? If you would have said, you know what? This dude is a scumbag. He is out for himself and he will go whichever way the wind blows. But right now the wind is blowing in our, in our direction. The wind is at our back and he's giving us what we want. So I'm just going to ride with that. I can respect that. It's immoral, but it's honest. But you got these people out here talking about this man is persecuted. Oh, yeah. When he was a Democrat. And he out here 
hanging out doing God knows what with God knows who. You want to explain that? Tim Scott, in advance, in advance, it is May, went on Meet the Press, would not commit to accepting the results of the election in 2024, which hasn't happened yet. Despite the fact that he has a known history of claiming things were rigged when he loses. I will totally accept the results of this great and historic presidential election if I win. He admitted when he was in Wisconsin that the polls were rigged. Oh, wait, no, but they haven't been recently because I've been winning. Strike that. He told you the game. And you will still have people out here parroting this bull from somebody who has a clear track record of going to this because he's too immature to accept that he lost anything, anything ever in his life. This dude is eight years old. This dude is eight years old. And he has grown people, grown people out here going around with his nonsense off the playground. Because that's what it sounds like, just nonsense off the playground. It sounds like a little kid telling you that he's faster than everybody, he's stronger than everybody, he can shoot basketball better than everybody, he could kick, he could play kickball better than everybody. But then when he plays and he loses, it was rigged. That's exactly what this is. That's exactly what this is. A little kid telling you he's the best at everything, plays, get his ass whooped, and always claims it's rigged. Always claims it's rigged when he get his ass whooped. And the teachers out here actually agreeing with that nonsense. But I'm sitting here watching this discourse between Drake and Kendrick and Drake fans convincing themselves that his his diss was was uh was better than Kendrick's because he said he had small feet. Just stupid stuff. Just just stupid stuff. These people are willing to believe anything because of this cult of personality around Drake. Because of how Drake makes them feel and they identify as Drake stands, right? And how that makes them feel to be a member of that club. They are willing to suspend reality in order to protect that feeling. And if that ain't MAGA, I don't know what is. The, are the days of having a legitimate debate and discourse just over? We feel so moved by our strong emotion and conviction that we need to set everybody else straight and don't let religion be involved because then they convince themselves they're saving people. So I don't know how we get back to a place where people feel enough honor to A, maybe be honest in the first place, I am a governor of one of our 50 US states. It is beneath me to print a memoir where I make up stories. Is that too much? After you got caught lying? And, I mean, is that too much? Is that is that too much? In 2024, it's too much. We treat everything like we watch in sports now. I'm watching that game yesterday and I'm watching the crazy double standard and officiating between what they tolerated from the Timberwolves and what they tolerated from the Denver Nuggets. Meanwhile, Nuggets fans are cheering ref you suck and F you ref. Nuggets fans, the beneficiaries of the nonsense double standard feel like they're wrong. You put on your MAGA hat and you put on your Drake sunglasses and you put on your Denver Nuggets cape and you just root for the home team. That's where we at. Not only do you root for the home team, but you feel everything should go your way and you are completely unwilling to accept defeat or reality if, if it doesn't support the home team. When it comes to our political discourse, that clearly has much higher stakes than Drake fans or Nuggets fans, right? That's clearly more problematic. However, the behavior is the same. And so as much as I look at MAGA and some of the, the mental gymnastics they are willing to do 
to continue to support Donald Trump? Are they maybe just indicative of where society is now? Because we, we always give Donald Trump the credit, right? He gets the credit for creating and maintaining this cult of personality around him that gives him the latitude to, as he tells it, I could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and not lose any support, right? Was this kind of behavior inevitable? And if you needed a grown eight-year-old to draw it out to this degree, where it's so obvious what we've become. Another thing, it's also funny how MAGA heads and Drake fans intersect. Do they? Do they? Are there a lot of MAGA fans? I I didn't I didn't draw that line. Said Master said Donald Trump himself said his favorite president is Andrew. That's not true. That can't be true. Is that can't be true? I have to, somebody looked that up. Now somebody looked that up. That nobody in the history of this world has ever said Andrew Johnson was their favorite president. I don't believe that. I'm willing to believe anything about Donald Trump. I don't believe that. No, no, no. Somebody got to look that up.